Hey guys, so a couple of videos ago, I wore a top knot um, in like an outfit of the day, and um, I think it was like my fall, winter nail polish favorites. I got a ton of requests to do a tutorial on that hair, and I will go ahead and throw out this disclaimer right now. I do not do hair tutorials, like, like I'm not good at it, so <laughs> I don't really like do them unless someone asks. Um, and I got a lot of requests to do this one. And so I tried to recreate it today. It may not look um, as good. Like, you know, my hair is a little bit different than what that day was. I don't know if that was second, third day hair or whatever. Um, but the technique is pretty much the same. It's very, very, very simple and very fast. It probably takes like five minutes to do. And if you have um, shorter hair, it probably even, you know, take even like less time. But it's just something that you can wear when it's hot. Um, you can pull it up and look. I guess like people say like, you know, elegant if you're um, going. I don't know to. I don't know to a special event. It um, it's a good way to like do protective styling on your hair if you have like you know second third day hair you know dirtier. I would recommend it probably on like second or third or fourth whatever have you day. Not first day hair just because um, my hair obviously gets um bigger thicker you know more days I go and that gives you like more volume up here if that's what you're looking for um so yeah this is what it looks like it's just a top knot you could easily like decorate it with like I don't know if you want to put a flower there or like a pretty headband or some statement earrings a bold lip whatever um it'll go with anything so I hope it looks okay um yeah so this is what it looks like and if you want to see how I did this video then just keep watching Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just put my hair like in a very, very high ponytail, pretty much like right here, and I'm just going to use a regular um, hair tie. It's kind of like doing the pineapple method for like a nighttime routine. Okay, so we have this lovely look. And then what I'm actually going to do is just go around and pin everything like just down like this. There we go. So I just took it and twisted it like I was going to put it in a bun. Um, and you don't have to twist it too tight. I guess the tighter you twist it, the smaller the bun will be and the more uniform it'll be. So if you want it to be a little messy, then just do it like a... A loose twist you can separate it I might make it a little bit easier now we're going the opposite way okay and I'm just going to start pinning it down oh I forgot <laughs> So I'm going to use the, um, these little spiral twist pins that I got, um, I think, I don't know, from Tari or something, but these are supposed to be the equivalent of like 20 bobby pins. So I use these first as like the main thing to secure it down and then I'll go in with like bobby pins. Okay, so I just put one on each side. Now I'm just going to start twisting like loose pieces and pinning them down. And I'm probably going to use a massive amount of bobby pins. So you probably want to use some that are pretty close um, to your hair color. Okay, so these are the finished results. Like, I hope it looks as good as the first time. I don't know, it may look a little different, but um, this is what it looks like, I guess, from the side. Yeah. 
And then, I mean, because the hair has more texture than if it were straight, the bobby pins aren't, you know, very noticeable. Like they just kind of sink right in. So I don't think you have to worry about seeing those. But I mean, you could just, you know, slick down the edges of the baby hair if that's what you want to do. Throw on some statement earrings or, or whatever a bowl lip like I had in that video. But it's just like a chic hairdo. Um, something that I don't know. It's great for protective styling. Awesome in like you know the hotter months if you want to just get your hair up off of your neck. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.